This is the T49 Fearless, a tank that you will very rarely see played in pubs. And that is mainly down to the fact the only way to get your hands on this vehicle is by being one of the top 100 ratings players in the game. Now, to be fair, that's not the hardest challenge ever. A lot of the players do well in ratings because they spam battles rather than their overall skill. I mean, I'm at about 5,500 on my account this month for ratings, and I literally only played about 100 games. So it's not too hard to get up there in ratings if you know what you're doing. And the reward are pretty good. You get more XP, more credits, and even premium tanks if you do well enough. In today's video, we are going to be playing in this tank, showcasing its capabilities and why it's an overall really fun vehicle. Now, honestly, there's not much to talk about when it comes to the gun or the tank itself. It's a T49 with slightly modified stats. I think it has slightly more DPM, and it is kind of a better T49, but it's literally like 100 more damage per minute, so it's not going to make a huge difference in the battlefield, and overall, it's still going to be a heavily RNG-dependent tank. So, we're going to see what we can do in this vehicle. The T49 is still one of my favorite tier 8s in the game, and that is because it has mobility, a big old DARP gun, and if you know how to drive it right, it can actually do pretty well. Okay, this is a pretty solid matchup. Up against us, we have two elephants, an IS-3, T-34-2, VK-100, a Basilisk, and a Stir a Mill. All right, well, we are going to start off by heading right over to this uh, crossing. This is a great position to spot enemy vehicles that are going to drive past this truck, or sometimes uh, cross in this area over here. However, doesn't look like they're having much come over here. They only have two mediums. In fact, we spotted one of them, the T-34-2. He did not spot me, which is quite nice. Oh, there you go. We got the Sturm Hill detected. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yes. Funk! Yeah! There you go. That is the T-49, and that is what it can do when it bends a high explosive shell. That player literally got blasted. All right, so we can see that they do have some tanks off to the side over there. Got the Basilisk right in front of us. I don't know if I can actually pen his vehicle, uh, but we're going to try. Oh, we can. That tank has a lot of weird spaced armor on the front of it. And because of that, it's incredibly tricky to, well, uh, use a tank that has only heat to pen that spaced armor. Now, we can see that we have teammates. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to wait here. In fact, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to get around this building here. We're going to slow down a little bit, and then we're going to aim it right on the Basilisk. Oh, come on, keep going. Bonk. <laughs> yes, 1,800 damage dealt. Not bad for the start of this game. We're going to chill. Oh, that's even better. So I'm hoping right now that I can ignore the Sturm Mill in the back. We can... Hmm. I don't really love this. Oh, and he's actually smart enough to shoot me there. All right, well, that paired with the fact our shell went to China did not help us all too much. Let's see, we're going to reload. we got eight more seconds. Five, four, three, two. Come on, sit right there. Come on, back up, back up, back up, back up, please. Go! No. Back up, back up. That's all I got to do. Just back up. Come on. He's so close, bro. Oh! There it is! Patience is sometimes key. And in that situation, it was definitely key. We were able to absolutely bonk that poor player. And he's out of the battle. Okay, now we're going to go over towards the heavies. I don't care about that elephant. Dude's a waste of my time. It's much, much more beneficial to... Well, I was going to say stay unspotted and get behind these players. But, looks like this guy's kind of oblivious. We're just going to let him shoot us. We're going to aim it on his lower plate. And that's the T-49 for you. It's, uh... It's pretty bad in terms of the gun. I will admit, it probably has one of the worst tier 8 guns in the game. But, when you're able to pen your shots, it can feel quite nice. So we're going to try again. There you go. 570 damage into his vehicle. Just like that, we are over 3,000 damage. So, I can't get all too disappointed. So, we are going to head behind the elephant. The VK100 is probably going to turn after the enemy elephant dies. Let's hope that our teammate gets him cleared. He does. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of YOLO it. We're going to go full speed ahead. We're going to get right behind this VK. And, yeah, nice. 589 damage. The defender finishes him off. Okay, that was a pretty solid result. This is why the T-49 is an absolute bob to play. I mean, the gun just hits really hard, and... hoo There you go. An extra 145 damage added to our tally, and the elephant finishes him off. 
that was a very, very good game. Apparently the defender didn't like my idea of ramming there. <laughs> I just wanted to get it out. It was pretty fun. I mean, there you go. 3,750 damage. We got a first class. Not bad. Not bad at all. Sweet. I don't know why that defender got so mad at me. I mean, maybe I blocked, like, one of his shots, but I don't know. I just wanted to have a little bit of fun at the end there. All right, this is another pretty good matchup. We got Tier 7s and Tier 8s up against us. That's kind of the ideal match you want in the T49. When you're playing higher tiered opponents, usually what I do is I just load HE. And you can see I have an even spread of HE and, uh, you know, Heat. I've got 11 and 11. So I got plenty of shells. You know, if my average HE does about 200 to 300 damage, that means that I can probably get out easily about... 2,000 damage just with my HE alone, and then if I pen a heat or so, I can easily get close to 3k uh, if push came the shove. I think we're fine for now. I'm not seeing anything towards the medium side, though, so we're going to back up. We're going to aim over here. Sometimes it's nice to spot this crossing here. Oh, we are detected ourselves, so well, that's not good. Also, I feel like my sensitivity is... No, never mind. I don't know why, but my sense felt a little high. Alright, well, we did get spotted. I'm not sure what spotted us. It's probably a tank that went towards mid, but uh, there's really no way to figure that out. Bro, what? What? I'm so confused. Where? Okay. I, alright. I don't, I seriously don't know what's spotting me. They have to have something that I, I don't know. I must be, like, stupid or something, because you would think that the enemy tank that I... I'm just losing my brain cells, I guess. Either way, we got the Panther in front, and we're going to load in an HE shell, and I think that made up for our weird spotting earlier. It has to be that M4190, and the only thought I have is that he shot me and then backed in the cover, because I feel like I would have detected him otherwise. Either way, we're going to aim it on his tank. Aw, it went low. I mean, that was still 330 damage. Crazy, bro. Crazy. Did not realize that our team has literally uh, fallen apart. Uh, well, we just don't have anything on heavy side, is what I actually mean to say. All right, well, that wasn't great. We lost a lot of health there when we shouldn't have. Scorpion missed me. We're just gonna... Yeah, that was worth. That was worth. Maybe a one-shot, but... Well, we basically nuked that Scorpion. Gee, I'm gonna be honest, we've been playing a little sloppy here. Uh, my brain's just kind of dead, so... Let's revamp it. All right. All right, let's see what we can do. Lech Panzer is yelling at... Ooh, don't want to be shot by the defender. Actually, you know what? I don't really care if the defender shoots me. I have enough health to take a shot from him, and we can easily hit him back quite a bit harder. We're already up to 2,500. More worried about that T-34, so we're going to chill right here. See him staring at me? Yeah, you are staring at me. The Lech Panzer is yelling at me for being a wimp, apparently. Uh, okay, not my problem. You're dead. <laughs> Bro, what? 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 I, I can't. I can't. I can't with this game. I, I don't know what to say, guys. We're just getting spotted from China, I guess. Well, uh, I didn't expect there to be a T-71 sitting in the bush on heavy side that was going to kill me, and it was way too late by the time I was getting shot uh, back in the cover. So that was a little unfortunate, but we still did decent. 2,500 damage. We got some big bonks out. 875 into the Panther, 763 into the Scorpion, and then, unfortunately, our shell did not end up penning the Lech Panzer. If it had, oh, that would have been a really juicy 3K game. But... This is the T-49 Fearless, and it's literally just a T-49 with a different skin. I absolutely love the T-49. I think it's a super skill-based vehicle, and if you can drive it properly, I mean, you get some absolutely crazy games. I definitely could have done better that battle. I need to take a nap because I'm a little bit brain-racked right now. Uh, just had Easter dinner with the family, had to wake up pretty early for that, so... Yeah, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you guys think about the T49. Obviously, happy Easter. And, uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.